So I bought this Ozark Trail high performance cooler and uh, it was 150 bucks. It ain't too bad really. It's pretty good. The uh, And it's got all the cool shit. Like uh, the Arctics and the in the Yetis and whatnot. Rope handles. These locking latches here. This cool cool drain here. I wanted an Arctic. And I went to Bucky's last night. Late last night, like ten o'clock. They they were sold out. They said no we won't have one for a couple weeks. So I went to Walmart, bought this one, and then as soon as I get home, I find out that fucking Bucky's has a bunch of Arctics. So I may end up taking this one back. And the only reason being, this it does have a cool drain. This like fast, fast drain and slow drain. I guess you can hook a water hose up to it for whatever reason. I don't know why you would want that. Seems pretty durable, it's pretty heavy. It's got a nice basket in it. There's got a water in there. I don't know how ice retention is. It's got this seal I checked. There's about 10 of them in the store and not a single one of them this seal touched. So if I keep it, I think I'm gonna end up just filling that little hole with silicone. And it's, so far it seems to be a great cooler. And this is the only thing, and I only wanted it for the back of my Ranger to hang out in the back. But let me tell you, there ain't no fucking tie down straps on it. Not a one. It goes over the top. And that's not what I'm looking for at all. And you know, the Arctics and the, and the Yetis and all the other fucking Yeti, let that patent slip or whatever the hell they did, but everybody out of the coming out of the woodworks with them they're getting cheaper and cheaper but uh they have a little slot there for tie downs this one ain't got shit there's no tie downs i mean it's got a, a little recess there to go over the top but that's not what i'm looking for this is sitting in the back of my bed and i ain't trying to mess with that so i may take it back i don't know if I keep it, I'll do an ice test on it, but I don't see why why it would fail the ice test. It, not, I don't even care about the ice retention, really. I only use it for three or four days at a time and just to keep my beer in. Anyways, they're starting to be at more and more Walmarts. It's a pretty good price. I am kind of fucking pissed or more, more really just irritated at the lack of tie downs there is none unless you want to tie it over the top of it which i don't everything seems to be pretty good construction though nothing nothing too cheap on it and luckily it's fucking bear proof so no bears better be sneaking my beers. We'll see how that goes though. Fucking bears, I've seen that Revenant movie. Now watch out for those critters. All right, there it is. Oh, these, this is bolted. I don't know how the Yetis are, but that's pretty nice. This is bolted here. Again, seems like a pretty nice cooler. Kind of irritated there's no way to tie it down without going over the top of the lid. And I don't think if I tied these down, they would last too long. Anyhow, all right, there you go. Ozark 52 quart high performance cooler.